what's up guys we're back for another video um, let's get this started okay so today I'm gonna be talking about the RSI the, um, if you don't know what that is that's where you can tell if a stock is oversold or overbought um, usually when a stock is very high is this um, oversold it's overbought and when it's really low it's oversold <clears throat> but I'm gonna just teach you guys how to actually use it so this is Apple today we're looking at Apple just the last five days of Apple right here ignore these lines there for something else later on um, I'll probably teach you guys about these lines this is where I thought I would see resistance on Apple and you can see his like resistance right here and this is where I thought I would see buying right here and as you can see buying right there but that'll be a, another day another video um, so this is the RSI down here you have your 30 and 70 level this is what they give you whenever you go to the RSI <clears throat> this is what they give you but we don't look at the 30 and the 70 we look at the 30 whenever it drops below the 30 to let us know that the stock is oversold. But when it goes back above the 30, we don't necessarily buy right after it goes back up. <clears throat> we wait, make sure you're listening. We wait until it crosses this 40, where this blue line is. That is the 40 level. <clears throat> wait for it to cross this 40 level and that is when we start looking to buy simulated trades of course paper trades this is not I'm not telling you to actually trade this is only paper trade so it went below this 30 as you can see right here went below the 30 and right when it crossed this this um, 30 mark right here people people would have bought They're like oh, okay it's coming from oversold it's crossing above 30 let me buy they would have bought where did it cross it they would have bought right here right thinking that it was gonna go up after this 30 so they would have bought it came up a little bit and then it dropped then it kept dropping they're probably like man what happened oversold supposed to buy but what people don't know is you're supposed to wait until it crosses this 40 mark so this whole time we were just been waiting, 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 waiting. While they would have bought here, we would have been waiting. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. And then right here, right here, when it crosses this 40 mark right here, that is when we would have got in. Right there. And now that's for your entry, simulated trades, paper trades, of course. That would have been my entry. I'm just showing you guys what I would have done, how I do it. This would have been my entry right here. And then I would have held. And now what you do is you wait till it crosses the 60 mark. <clears throat> let, me, let me actually put a line in there. You wait till it crosses the 60 mark. You wait till it crosses the 60 mark right here. So from here to here, you could have took a little profit. You wait for it to come back down. You have still been holding your profit because the stock is still bullish. <clears throat> See how it, it just stays right at the 60 mark. It goes on there, it comes down, it hits, come up, came back up, came back up. And then <clears throat> for you to exit your trade are what I do when I exit my trades. So I enter across the 40, I enter, I wait for it to get to the 60, and then I would have got out at least half of the position right here at this 60 level. And then I would have held 
usually I hold if it crosses below the 50 again. <clears throat> if it crosses below the 50, I usually just get out the position, take my profit, and that'll be it of that. Or sometimes I hold, depending on the callus of the stock, I'll hold, as you can see, it's bullish, so I would have been holding still until it crosses 60 again, like right here, and then I would have took out the rest of my profit. Because it never went below the 50 mark, really. Like 49.9. So I was still held. <clears throat> so the lines we look at is 40 and 60. We don't look at the 30 and 70. So let me go to another stock. <clears throat> um, let's Let's go to the A. Again, just ignore these lines. And so right here, we would have waited, waited, right? We would have waited until it crossed the 40, not 30, crossed the 40. It crossed the 40 right at opening. So we would have bought. So I would have bought. So I would have been holding till it went <clears throat> past the 60. It went past the 60 right here. I would have took out uh, maybe like 30, 40% profit. I would have held. It didn't cross below the 50. Right? It didn't cross below this 50. So I would have been holding. As you can see, it's still bullish. Just holding, 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 holding. And now usually you should have a target what you want to take out profit on <clears throat> like from this jump to this i would have just already took out the whole profit because that's you don't see jumps like that a lot you know so i would have took out profit already <clears throat> but if you would have been holding you would have been holding to see if you get another pop until like <clears throat> right here until like right here because that's when it crossed below the 50 right there so you would have held right there so you would have entered here at like 204 and then I would have exit at 218. <clears throat> so that's a good profit between those two, just off the RSI. <clears throat> so just by crossing the 40 up to the 60. <clears throat> Sorry about all the clearing throw. I don't know what's going on today. But um, yeah, so cross the 40, enter. Round, I would have 204 and then I would have exit at 218. This for BA. <clears throat> Always the 40 and 60 levels. Let's go to another stuff. Uh, <clears throat> GM. So again, GM. <clears throat> It came down to the 40 level, so I would have entered because I would have saw this reaction right here. It didn't go below, it just hit it. You see how this line like hit it right on the dot? That's why we look at the 40 levels. Uh, make sure you guys like the video, comment below what you think of the video, share it with your friends because this is, this is how you use the RSI, or just how I use it. <clears throat> so <clears throat> So I hit this 40 level, would have went up, I would have entered right there. I would have waited till it crossed. Had a big jump. So I would have took out like 30% profit right here. Stayed above the 50 level, which is right here. So I would have held. You would have, you would have, I would have been holding through all this profit. Just holding. Holding, 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 holding. And then um, had another jump. So usually after two jumps. I would have took out profit somewhere right here while it's really oversold because that's like historically high so i would have probably took out around here the full profit but if you held you could have held until the cross of 50 which is right right here so you would have got out at 45 44 or i would have got out 45 44 
and then I would have entered at 42.34. So you would have caught this whole profit right there, just off the RSI from the 40 to 60 levels. Let's go to another stock. <clears throat> Let's go to this stock. This stock has been, everybody's been on this stock lately. So below the, it went below the 30. You're watching it. You're not entering yet. You're waiting, waiting. Then right when it crossed the 40, I would have entered right here. Then it went to the over the 70 quick. I would have hit. I would have waited. Hold, hold, hold. <clears throat> so right when it hit this, I would have took out some profit because that's almost that's really oversold. So I would have took out about 30, 40 percent right there. <clears throat> I would have held until it crossed the 50, and it crossed the 50. Did it cross the 50? No, it didn't cross the 50. So I would have just held, but it got close. I would have just held. I would have got out right here. So enter here, got out here. That would have been a profit right there with some up here. So 30%, 30, 40% up here, and then the rest off here. Then it came below again, the 40, came back up to the 40. I would have bought right there. I would have held, oversold. Sold out by 30, 40 right there. Held to above the 50. Then came back down to the 50 right here. And then I would have sold. So the two profits were here, 40%. From here to here, took off the rest. And then from here to here, 30, 40%. And then uh, which right here, I would have took off the rest. So those are the two profits, just in four days. Let's go to one more stock. I don't want this video too long. Uh, okay. And then Costco. So Costco didn't hit the 40, so I would have just waited. As you can see, it's not moving. Not moving. It went below, came back up to the 42. So I would have entered right around here. This stunt right here. Then I would have just held. It didn't really drop. It just stayed on its 40, so I'd have been holding for wait for it to get above 60 to 70 to also. And then it got it up right there. I would have took out 30, 40%. I would have held. It didn't go below the 50. I hit 54. I would have held. Still holding. I would have been still holding from here. So here to here, I'm still holding. It didn't drop below the 50. And then it dropped. Like right here so I would have took out the rest of the profit right there so from there to there it would have been the profit so remember below 40 <clears throat> you wait when it crosses 40 um, I can get in and then after the 60 to 70 I usually look to take out profit and then if it stays above the 50 I usually hold it to just wait <clears throat> Okay, but that's it for the RSI indicator. Hope you guys liked it. <clears throat> I will be going in more depth with the RSI. This is just a little introduction to it. There are more to the background of the RSI that I'll show you guys later. And remember, we always post a video. Uh, I usually post a video every day at 1 p.m. So make sure you guys look out for that. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace out.